Welcome to the Bailey how-to videos and in this video we'll be looking at the water system in your motorhome. Now the water system in your motorhome consists of a fresh water tank and a waste water tank. Now that waste water tank is for your sink and your shower. Both of these tanks are located between the chassis rails on your motorhome. Now we're going to be covering what to do when you arrive on site, um, what you do before you leave site as well as what to do uh, if you're storing it over winter. So we'll start off with how to fill your water point as there are three different ways to do that. So when you arrive on site to prepare your water system for filling up, make sure all of your taps are off. Now that includes the taps and the shower in the washroom. And also make sure that that yellow drain down switch, a little toggle switch is horizontal. It may be up for draining down. You need to close it in that horizontal position. Occasionally they're under front bunks, but on this particular model, the drain down valve can be found under the bed towards the rear. So the first way to fill the fresh water tank on your motor is using this whale aquasource pipe. Now bear in mind, you'll need to be within seven meters of a tap to use this. Uh, we're on a fully serviced pitch at the moment, but you can also move your motorhome to uh, a motorhome filling point that's on site. So all you need to do is you connect one end to the tap, the other end to the, uh, the whale filler point on the side, clip that into place. Now it's important not to turn the tap on at this point as we need to go inside to access the control panel. So we have the Aquasource hose connected and we're inside with the control panel. So we turn the control panel on and all we do is we use the down arrow to scroll down until it says fill tank. And then once it says fill tank, we press this arrow alongside and it says pump musty must be on to fill the tank. So all we now do is press the tap uh, picture, which is the pump button, and it's now filling with water. All we have to do now is go outside, wait for the beep, and then turn it off. Now it's important not to wander away whilst the water is filling because we've just heard the beep from the control panel, so we need to then turn this tap off. And with the tap off, um, and your water tank full, we can then disconnect the, uh, the whale aquasource unit, roll it up and store it away. So the second way to fill the fresh water tanks in your motorhome is with the trusty aqua roll. Um, now, if your tank's empty, it will take approximately two and a half of these to fill your onboard tank, but it's a handy way to fill the water if, um, if say for example, you've leveled the motorhome, you don't want to drive it off the chocks, or it's difficult to get within seven meters of a tap by using the whale aqua source. So all you do, you have your water filler point here, undo the flap, you fill your aqua roll, undo the top, and then simply drop the submersible pump inside, fit the cap, and then plug this into the socket, close the cap, and then we go inside. So with the Aquarol and the submersible pump connected, we come inside to the control panel and we scroll with the down arrow until we get to fill tank. Once we've got to fill tank, we press the arrow that's alongside it and then it will automatically start to fill the tank and it will stop when the tank is full. So your fresh water tanks are now full. All you do is the reverse of what you did before. Lift the flap, unplug it from the unit, close the flap, Take the submersible pump out of the aqua roll, close the lid, and then stow both these items away. So the third and final method for filling up the fresh water tank in your motorhome is a very simple one. Um, all you do is pull back the carpet, which allows you to access this hatch. Open the hatch, and then you simply have a, a screw top on your fresh water tank. So all you do is undo the top, and then if you have a watering can, jug, kettle or a hose, you literally just fill it from the top. So once you've filled your fresh water tank with one of the three methods we've already mentioned, and you've made sure that yellow toggle switch is closed, you've still got the taps closed in the bathroom. So what we need to do is then open the kitchen tap onto hot. So select the hot, open the tap, and keep it open until the water keeps flowing freely. You get, you get no coughing or spluttering, just a nice steady flow of water. Then once the hot is primed, you can move it to cold, 
open it carefully, very slowly, just in case you've got air. And once that's flowing freely, your kitchen tap is good to go. And then you can just follow on with the, with the others in here, but they won't have to fill up that hot water tank. And that's you, you're ready now to enjoy your holiday on site. So when you're ready to go home and you've made sure that your Acroll and Acrosource hose are disconnected, all you do is you come in here and you open the yellow toggle switch, which on this particular model is underneath the bed. And with that yellow toggle switch open, which is in the vertical upright position, we need to open the taps, not just in the kitchen, but also in the washroom, such as the basin and the shower. Now just make sure the taps, when they're open, they are open in the middle, so that allows the hot and the cold to both drain down. Now, if you'd also like to drain down your fresh water system, all you do is just pull the carpet back, open the door, open the top, and then there's a bung underneath that you access. You simply pull that out and that will drain the fresh water system. So to empty your wastewater tank, your grey water, you need to be above a motorhome disposal point and those taps are outside. But let's go outside and show you how it's done. So to drain down your grey waste or your wastewater tank, all you do, you need to um, locate the grey tap. On this particular model, it's on the off side, the driver's side, just below the rear wheels. If there's a bung on the end, all you do, just wiggle that off and then that is now ready to drain. Now I won't drain it here because we're still on a pitch, so that when you're above the drain point on a motorhome service point, all you would do is you would turn that tap counterclockwise to undo it, and then that would drain down the grey waste holding tank. 